let us learn about image formation by convex lens lenses can be classified into two types convex lens which is also called converging lens concave lens which is also called diverging lens now let us learn some important terms related to lenses principal axis the principal axis is a horizontal line going through the center of a lens which is c1 and c2 focus which is also known as focal point the light rays incident towards the face of the lens parallel to the principal axis will either converge or diverge if the light rays converge as in the converging lens then they will converge at a point known as the focal point of the converging lens if the light rays diverge as in a diverging lens then the diverging rays can be traced backwards until they are intersected at a point this intersection point is known as focal point of a diverging lens optical center this is a point on the principal axis of a lens through which light passes without undergoing any deviation in other words a ray of light passing through the optical center will not change its direction part 2 when an object is placed in front of a lens light rays coming from the object fall on the lens and get refracted the refracted rays produce an image at a point where they intersect or appear to intersect each other the formation of images by lens is usually shown by a ray diagram to construct a ray diagram we need at least two rays whose path after refraction through the lens is known any two of the following rays are usually considered for constructing ray diagrams a ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens travels straight without suffering any deviation this holds good only in the case of a thin lens an incident ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus an incident ray passing through the focus of a lens emerge parallel to the principal axis after refraction The nature of images formed by a convex lens depends upon the distance of the object from the optical center of the lens. Let us now see how the image is formed by a convex lens for various positions of the object. When the object is placed between F1 and O, formation of image by a convex lens number 1 a ray passing through optical center a ray passes through the optic center without any deviation number 2 a ray which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus in this case incident rays diverge after refraction and hence no real image is formed the image is therefore virtual thus when an object is placed between f1 and o of a convex lens the image formed is on the same side of the lens virtual erect bigger than the object when the object is placed at 2f1 as explained earlier we will consider two rays 
coming from a point. A ray passing through optical center. A ray passes through the optic center without any deviation. A ray which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus. These two refracted rays meet at 2F2. Thus, when an object is placed at 2F1 of a convex lens, the image formed is at 2F2. Real, inverted, same size as the object. When the object is placed between 2F1 and F1, a ray passing through optical center. A ray passes through the optic center without any deviation. A ray which is parallel to the principal axis. The ray which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the lens and passes through F2 on the other side of the lens. The two refracted rays intersect each other at a point beyond 2F2. So, when an object is placed between F1 and 2F1 of a convex lens, the image formed is beyond 2F2, real, inverted, larger than the object. When the object is placed at F1, a ray passing through optical center, a ray passes through the optic center without any deviation, a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. The rays which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through F2. These two refracted rays are parallel to each other and parallel rays meet only at infinity. Thus, when an object is placed at F1 of a convex lens, the image is formed is at infinity, real, inverted, highly enlarged in size. When the object is placed beyond 2F1, a ray passing through optical center, a ray passes through optic center without any deviation, a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. The ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through F2. The refracted rays intersect at a point between F2 and 2F2. The image formed is between F2 and 2F2. Real, inverted, smaller than the object. When the object is placed at infinity, a ray passing through the optical center, a ray passes through the optic center without any deviation, a ray passing through the focus, the ray parallel passing through the focus emerges parallel to the principal axis. The two refracted rays meet at the focus and the image formed is at F2, inverted, real, highly diminished.